uh, hi everyone welcome to this session so today let uh, solve this problem uh, so uh, determine the z in for the below circuit uh, neglect channel net modulation and gm1 equals gm gm2 okay so we know that to find uh, the impedance at a node we we what we do is we apply a test voltage with respect to ground and measure the ix what is coming out of this voltage source and then we take i vx over ix ratio and find the output resistance uh, looking into that node with respect to ground okay but in this case uh, we have to measure the resistance uh, across these two points okay so there will not be a ground point okay so what will what we ha we have to do is we need this point not to be grounded okay so you have to apply the voltage source across these two terminals let's say a b okay and we have to do the small signal analysis and let uh, gm1 equals gm2 equals to gm okay so first we will solve this circuit and after solving the circuit we will find some insight uh, from these circuits okay so let's do the uh, small signal model analysis so for uh, m1 the dependent current source will be let's say gm vgs like and this is grounded right this will be grind grounded so this will be vgs1 and we need to apply a voltage source and find the current okay let's say this is vp and this is ip and uh, here the model for m2 will be same the dependent current source and this point and this point is same and grounded so this is gm and this is connected directly here so this point is the gate of this okay so there will be a connection like that so the vgs2 and this point is connected the gate of m1 so this point let this point okay and uh, let let this is vx and this is vy okay so our small signal model has drawn okay so we need to solve this side so how can we solve this so we have to need some equation so here we can see that vp is nothing but this voltage minus this voltage so this is vx minus vy right so this is our equation number of and we apply kcl in this branch okay so we can see that okay and and we we forget to uh, write the uh, independent sources so this will be gm times vgs1 and vgs1 is nothing but vy right as uh, vs is grounded so this will be gm vy and gm vgs2 will be and this is our vx right as uh, source is grounded so this will be gm times vx and uh, applying kcl here we can see that ip is directly flowing through this gm vy okay so these two currents are equal so we have gm vy is ip and this is our equation two and if we apply kcl in this branch we can see that ip and the gm vx gm vx are flowing flowing opposite direction right so the ip will be minus of gm vx so this three equation we need to solve so let's solve this so from uh, from equation number 2 uh, we can write gm times uh, vy so from equation on vy is nothing but uh, vx minus vp so write gm times v, vy is nothing but vx time vp equal to ip this is from equation 2 okay equation 2 with the help of equation 1 and we can we have to uh, we have to uh, element eliminate vx okay uh, in equation number 3 so we can write ip is nothing but minus gm times so we have to find the vx from this so we can write gm vx okay, okay okay let me do this so vx is nothing but 
IP IP over GM plus VP right and we need to put here so this is GM times VX so VX is nothing but IP IP by GM plus VP right this is our VX so what will be the value so IP is nothing but minus IP this GM GM cancels uh, minus GM VP so this is nothing but so this will be 2 IP equals minus GM times VP so what is our ratio VP over IP VP over VP over IP is nothing but uh, 2 over minus 2 over GM but uh, here we getting minus 2 over gm so did i made some mistakes as our output impedance is coming as negative actually not okay actually this is our right answer okay so now find the inside of the circuit this is a circuit called cross coupled mosfet okay you can see the structure cross coupled okay cross coupled so cross coupled mosfet is used okay let me do like if we have a transfer function like that like a over some p plus q and if p equal to minus q the transfer function will be infinite right so when we need infinite transfer function at at a, at any frequency we need like we have we have some oscillations right so this negative resistance is need for oscillation and this this circuit is used in oscillator circuit okay this circuit is practically used in oscillator circuit so and if you it, this is a common circuit and and for undergraduate level this is maybe maybe like new circuit but when you do some like more on analog circuit problems so you will easily find that this will be the negative of the answer so here you can directly neglect these answers these three answers because you know that this is a cross coupled mosfet and the impedance is negative always negative and only negative answer is given here so the answer will be minus 2 over gm1 okay so yes thank you